Fresh DV's coverage of Cinegear is brought to you by Next Wave DV and Cinevate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. ICANN, features you need, prices you want. Kessler, innovative tools for filmmakers. Della Luce, your life, your style. Hi, my name is Carlos, I'm with Solid Camera, and I was going to take you through a little tour of the, uh, the Unity system. And the reason we chose the word Unity is because what we're hoping to do is kind of unify the solution to the most common problems that we have with cameras, kind of all the way from the, uh, the, the smaller cameras to the big movie cameras like the F65 sitting here. So I'll kind of take you for a little tour here. Essentially what we're, the big theme here is integration. And what we're trying to do is integrate the solution for all of these, these, these problems of power, moving signals, power distribution, and kind of the standard mechanical accessories like handles, uh, viewfinder support, and all those kind of things. So what happens here on, on the F65, this is kind of our flagship here. The magic kind of starts on the top of the, the camera. We replace the entire top of the camera with, with a box that has all of our electronics inside. There's three power supplies, one for the camera, one for 12 volt accessories, and one for 24 volt accessories. And this is crucial because no one thing can break another. If something happens with your accessories, it does not have any impact on the camera. And inside of here, we also deal with signals. We can have SDI, uh, time code, audio, um, and anything that can get through a fiber through here so that ultimately the entire system, power and signals, ends up going through a single cable. And this particular one that we're demonstrating is 500 feet long. It's currently powering up the entire F65, and there's a ring light on the front that's 100 watts. And the power supply um, is powering up not just this, but it's also powering up an Alexa that's sitting next to me as well. So it's an incredibly powerful system that has a lot of, a lot of redundancy. The power supply here, it's silver on one side if it's in sunlight. It's black on the other when you don't want it to be quite so shiny if you're using it inside. Um, and one of these, the unique things that we're introducing here to the show is called our power slide. And this is the way we deal with power distribution. This, this little piece right here, you can see these contacts. We have these various distro boxes that have little contacts on the side. When you plug it in, it energizes the connectors that are on the end. This, this particular one shows a 2-pin 12-volt Limo and a 3-pin 24 volt Fisher, which are pretty common connectors, but the connectors could be anything. We kind of have a whole series of these things on the way. This is the smaller version of the same thing. This is a power slide up on the, the higher end, but it just goes to directly to a cable. And this one powers up, I believe this one is powering up the ring light. The one over here is powering up the, uh, the focus motors. So none of the things on here require any tools. That was kind of a, a requirement of mine. I wanted to be able to strip this camera down to nothing in uh, just a few seconds with no tool. So the handle slides off to the right completely, the viewfinder system slides off completely in an instant, and uh, the viewfinder is intended to be kind of a one-shot wonder here. You can just grab it, position it, leave it where it kind of stays wherever you want it. If you have a big lens and you're on a dolly, you might want this thing to be in the back. Just slide it all the way to the back. When it's up in the front, when it's up in this position, and you wanted to go handheld, now you have left and right adjustment here. So this is kind of a handheld position. You get left and right positioning capability, and you still maintain a few inches of, of back and forth adjustment when it's in that position as well as up and down. So that's kind of the, the highlights of the Unity system. Uh, and this one's specific for the F65, but uh, you know what we're kind of hoping to do is to make sure that um, all of these things, th these solutions ultimately kind of transfer to any camera that you might have, whether it's an F3 or an Alexa or an FS700, whatever that happens to be. These all become common parts uh, for that kind of thing, which is, um, which is exactly our goal. Kind of the starting point on this is going to be in the neighborhood of $4,000. And depending on how you populate the electronics, there's a lot of options for that, depending on what signals you'd like to move. And that'll get you up to about $10,000 for the, for the F65 specifically. Um, and on the, uh, the smaller cameras, we're going to take these electronics that are on the top and integrate them into the base plates. That's kind of the, uh, that's the, the, the next step for the Unity system. Uh, we, we just finished these um, yesterday, and um, we have a little bit of uh, additional development work. We're guessing that we're probably going to be shipping finished units somewhere in the neighborhood of six weeks. The most information you can find right now is on our website, as long as we have the time to, uh, to update it, solidcamera.com and uh, we're going to be taking pictures and photos and, and hopefully be posting prices and, 
and when everything's going to ship. Uh, hopefully within the next couple of days now that we're, uh, we've got our prototypes up and running. Stay tuned for more coverage of Cinegear 2012.